You are now on the ladybug level. But did you know that ladybugs are actually beetles? Beetles, unlike bugs, have wings and also have the ability to eat plants and other insects. Should we really call ladybugs lady beetles? Hi and welcome to the Ladybug 1 example problems. Let's jump into this problem first by adding 8 to the abacus. Next we're going to subtract 7. Then we're going to add 6. And now we want to add 5. But here we've run into a curious problem. I want to add 5 to 7, but as you can see, I only have two earthly beads here. Well, I don't have enough beads to add the number 5. So this is where we will begin to use our first abacus rule, which is the 10 pair addition rule. And the 10 pair addition rule uses what we call 10 pairs, and there are only 5 of them and they are two single digit numbers that add to 10. Five and five, six and four, seven and three, eight and two, and nine and one. So in this case, I'm gonna use the pair five and five because five is the number I'm trying to add to seven, but I don't have enough beads. So the 10 pair addition rule says add one to the next rod left and then subtract 5's 10 pair, which is also 5, and we have an, a final answer of 12. So let's take a look at that 10 pair addition one more time. To add 5 to 7, we see we don't have enough beads, we only have two earthly beads, so we use our 10 pair addition rule, we add 1 to the next rod left, and subtract 5's 10 pair, which is also 5, for our final answer of 12. Let's take a look at another example. We start by adding 6 to the abacus, add 2 more, and now again I want to add 5, but I only have one earthly bead, so it's not enough to add 5. I use my 10 pair addition rule. Add 1 to the next rod left, and then subtract 5's 10 pair, 5, and I have an interim sum of 13. Then finally, subtract 3 for a final answer of 10. Hi, and welcome to the Ladybug 1 finger movement practice. So, in Ladybug 1, we are learning to use our first 10 pair the 5 and 5 10 pair. So let's take a look at some examples of those finger movements. So if I place a 5 on the abacus and I want to add 5 more to this same rod, well I can't because I have four, only 4 beads available. And this is where I'm going to use my 10 pair addition rule. And if you remember, it says add one to the next rod left with my thumb, and then subtract five from the five on my target rod, which I'll use my index finger. And we have a final answer of 10. So let's take a look at what that finger movement really is. Well, to do, to do that finger movement, I'm adding one and subtracting five. So as you can see, I use my thumb and then my index finger. And this is a movement that you will repeat over and over and over again. So again, our first 10 pair movement is this.